Hi, my name is Carla Sondheim, and today I want to show you a quick technique that it has kind of a magic element to it. it. It's very fun to do. And what we're doing is we're incising a line into the paper and then coloring on top of it so that the line, the color doesn't go into the line, so the, the white incision becomes the actual line of the drawing. Um, so let me show you what you need to get started. Um, you'll need some colored pencils. Um, you'll need, this might be something that is, it's like the simplest thing, but it might be the hardest thing to find, and that is a ballpoint pen that doesn't work anymore. Now, um, if you don't have one of those, you can experiment with other sort of sharp-ish objects to incise your lines, but um, I bought this beautiful pen at a thrift store and it doesn't work, so I started using that. Um, you'll need a pencil with an eraser, and if you want to add color to your lines, um, I've been using these sort of um, these jelly roll um, um, souffle pens. Um, the paper you'll need uh, is just a, a smooth, um, thick paper, like watercolor paper or Bristol board. And let's just get started. Um, oh, and the other thing you might want is some stencils if you want to add some lettering. And I'm going to start by just using this um, to write the word hi, and I'm pressing very hard here. And when I lift it up, hopefully you'll be able to see this hi. Um, you can also just, of course, just do handwriting and a drawing. I'm gonna draw some kind of animal here. And it looks like I'm drawing a horse. Actually, a unicorn. Okay, so that is the first step, is just to make an incised line into your paper. The second step um, is color. And you can color uh, hard, or you can color very lightly. Um, let's start out lightly over here. And I like to go just a little bit over the, um, the white line so it shows. It also gives kind of a unique look to the drawings. I also like to add um, layers of color and I, I will experiment on a scrap piece of paper sometimes or I'll just go right on top and see if I like it better. This one, it kind of makes it a little more, um, sometimes it doesn't change the color, but it, it, it changes the texture, which is kind of nice. Um, if I wanted to add color, I need to let it dry, so let me just go ahead and quickly add some red into this incised eye over here. And where was I? Brown. Brown horse. Um, I think I want to add some color to its horn, too. And maybe its mane. Oops. You make a mistake like that, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be covering it with some colored pencil in a few minutes. So while those things are drying, I'm going to um, show you just one more thing. Um, sometimes when you do, um, you know, you get it on and you put all the <laughs> colored pencil, it might be a little dark. And so sometimes it's nice to take an eraser to your colored pencil and sort of add some highlights or make it a little less perfect. Um, colored pencils, some erase better than others, so you'll just have to experiment with that. And let's see, this high now is dry, and I'm going to press really hard just to show that it can be done. And let's see what's going on with the pink. That's, the contrast is not so great. Let me get a darker color. So 
So that is the technique. Let me bring out my ladies again just to talk about some things. Um, I Again, the white line, it's like magic when it comes up. And I just wanted to point out on the faces that I did use the eraser a lot to like leave it dark around the eyes and the nose and in the neck and then lighter on the cheeks and the forehead areas that it would be um, lighter. So use that eraser. Um, so have fun with this. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll see you soon.